Fediverse is one of those terms that gets thrown around a lot. Today, we're diving into what it actually means. The word comes from federation and universe, which have been smushed together. It refers to a group of social networks, a federation, if you will, that can communicate with each other. This approach is pretty appealing when you contrast it with the current social media landscape, where you've got a handful of big players who largely don't talk to each other unless they're owned by the same company. People might take screenshots or post content from one platform onto another platform, but largely the world of Facebook is walled off from the world of Twitter, which is walled off from the world of TikTok. It especially sucks to be stuck in a walled garden when it's burning down. The only real following that I have is on X, formerly known as Twitter, and of course that following only exists on X. I don't own the platform, I don't have any say in the direction of the company, so as Elon Musk has turned it into a cesspool, I've stepped away from that account and those followers. I've tried to start over on other networks, but sometimes I just wonder, what's the point in posting anywhere? With the Fediverse on the other hand, the goals are interoperability and decentralization. Rather than having one giant network with one set of rules that's determined by one person or one company, you could, in theory, let a thousand social networks bloom, they can each have their own rules, their own conversations, but they can also talk to each other. Let's quickly run through the current major players. Mastodon, which is an open source, decentralized social network for Twitter-style posting, arguably the flagship of the Fediverse. Threads is Meta's entry into the Fediverse. Of course, the idea of Facebook's parent company building a decentralized social network seems a little odd, but Threads uses the ActivityPub protocol, so it can honestly claim some degree of interoperability. Pleroma is similar to Mastodon, but lighter and more customizable. PixelFed is focused on photo sharing. Friendica, which is a social network aggregator that's trying to build a bridge between traditional social networks and the Fediverse. PeerTube, a YouTube competitor where users can host their own video servers. And lastly, Blue Sky, which spun out of Twitter. If I'm being completely honest, the only two I've tried are Threads and Blue Sky, and I signed up not because I was excited to join the Fediverse, but because, as previously mentioned, I was looking for a good Twitter alternative. Obviously, it can be a challenge if the whole selling point of your service sounds utopian or wonky or impenetrable to normal people. I think Blue Sky and Threads have actually done a pretty good job of hiding the more intimidating sides of the Fediverse so that they feel like regular social networks. Maybe that's why they've also been criticized by some for not fully embracing this trend. I don't know if any of these particular networks will succeed, but I am hoping that social media is moving to a more decentralized future. We'll be back tomorrow.